As we age, our body faces internal betrayal from cells that once protected us. Macrophages, critical immune cells, become senescent in elderly people. Now, turns out these zombie cells actively block new blood vessel formation, potentially explaining why aging leads to poor circulation and slower healing. Now, think about this betrayal for a second. The very cells designed to help heal actually switch sides as we get older. In younger people, macrophages promote blood vessel growth by secreting growth factors. But in the elderly, they transform into senescent macrophages that do the exact opposite. They start pumping out chemicals like thrombospondin-1 that actively prevent new blood vessels from forming. And they create a toxic inflammatory soup around them that disrupts everything else. But the betrayal goes even deeper. These aging cells don't just block vascular growth, they also slack off on their job of cleaning up cellular garbage. So debris builds up while no new blood vessels form to deliver fresh supplies. But here's where things get interesting. This isn't just about poor circulation. This cellular rebellion affects everything from wound healing to heart health. When senescent macrophages take over, they create a cascade of problems throughout the body. They release inflammatory signals that damage surrounding tissues and block the growth of life-sustaining blood vessels. Identifying them is step one. Now comes the hard part. We already know how to kill senescent cells. The next challenge is targeting these senescent macrophages with precision.